All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise on the Lord too. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Kadash, the one for apostles, elders, the great millstone, the face of the brothers, pushing the word in truth and sincerity, and charity, and risking their lives and freedom to do so. This is Brian Nagaya, comes from the great millstone, Chicago camp. <clears throat> Coming at you with another lesson. Lo, it's edifying. All right. Um, beware of these head wrapped sisters. <laughs> That's going to be the title of the video. Beware of head rap sisters. Alright. Men, brothers, you know, y'all dealing with these women. I'm not here to tell you put, where to put your shit. You know, where, basically where to put your dick at. Alright. But beware of these head rap sisters because V A A Keisha and them are done. Alright, as, as the beloved brother uh, always says, y'all motherfuckers better put your boots on the ground <laughs> at the White Castle, alright, at the Sand Castle, at the Spice Castle, anything but the nigga woman, and I'm not only talking about so-called niggas, I'm talking about the nigga woman. But the shoe fits, man, all the way hey, from so-called nigga, nigga woman all the way down to uh, you fucking Mexicans. All right. So you bitches need to fall in line, man. All right. And, and if the shoe fits, that's why I said if the shoe fits, because I've never called a woman a bitch. I never called a bitch a woman. So. Beware of these head rap sisters because they start thinking they know the scriptures and they start bringing those scriptures and now, and now they're trying to teach you. <laughs> all right. Not to hell with that. All right. The Lord is dealing with order. All right. And I'm about to bring scriptures that, that uh, prove that. All right. Just a quick couple of scriptures. Just cut this, uh, uh, this BS, man. All right. Because they... This, there's no woman in the truth, man. All right? It's very little. If, if, if your woman's in the truth, tell her to bring you another woman. If you really think that she's in the truth, tell, you, tell her to go bring you another wife. Let's see if she does that. All right? I doubt it. But um, to hell with that. Be aware, you know. It's just better off dealing with these women that don't know anything about the truth or know anything you about dealing with the truth you know keep it simple yeah just read the bible or go to bible study that's it they don't need to know shit all right you know <laughs> teaching them shalom and teaching them this and teaching them this. nah man all right tell with them all right it may be an example to them that without eventually you're dealing with a woman, yeah, spirit's going to rub off on them. All right. They just, they're going to want to do They're going to start asking questions and start wanting to be a little bit more submissive, but that doesn't mean that they're in the truth. All right, just deal with what the Lord gives you and don't try to convert the, the, the bitches. No, fuck them. All right. Keep your eyes on the prize. All right. These women ain't where where it's at, all right. But um, enough said. Let me get uh First Timothy chapter two verse eleven. It says, "Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection." It says, "But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence." All right, and that's what it is. They they feel like they have somewhat some type of authority. All right, he he gave them a little bit of authority, and now they they trying to run with it. Now they trying to bring it into this into this truth, and no, it doesn't work that way. They don't want to become a new creature. They don't want to. They don't know what it takes. Hey, the scripture says, "Prepare that soul for temptation." When they come to serve the Lord, they can't eat. They can't. They're gonna fall for everything, man. Remember Lot's wife. Hey, like, what did Job's wife do? She, he, she, she, she talked about, uh, you, why don't you curse the Most High and die? 
All right. When shit starts really hitting the fan, these bitches is going to fold and they not going to be ready to serve the Lord, man. A lot, a lot of these, be aware, man. Be aware of these sisters, man, because they, they, they could lead, they could, they, they could, this could be your destruction. At that last minute, they could go ahead and get that chip. There's nothing for you, there's nothing you can do to save them. So beware of these head wrap sisters. Be aware, man. Hey, we're about your own salvation with fear and trembling. Shit. Everything else will be added on, man. Uh, search out for the kingdom. Uh, uh, search out uh, for the kingdom. That's the paraphrasing. And everything else will be added unto you. But anyway, let me get back in 1 Timothy 2 and 13 now. It says, For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. So we ate this bitch. We're not going to fucking take heed to this woman. Trying to teach us this and teach us that. You, the scripture says this to learn in silence, but yet you're trying to teach. Not even trying to teach the sisters to be in subject, to be uh, uh, under subjection and be in order. You just fucking over here uh, uh, being rebellious and trying to teach the man uh, over you, man. The Lord's all dealing with order. It's first Corinthians 14 and 40. It says, Let all things be done decently. And in order. And what's it? What's that? This is First Corinthians eleven and three it says, "But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is the Most High." But they don't seem to understand that. Once they start trying to bring out scriptures and all, man, the Lord ain't dealing with them. They don't have no wisdom. It says in the book of Job, this is Job 39 and 17, it says, Because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. The Lord ain't dealing with these women, man. All right. They deal with these women according. If you really, if the woman that really right here is trying to. Deal and, and, and please to dwell with you. Then deal. But don't be coming trying to uh, hey, hell with that. I mean, yeah. Hey man, Isaiah 4 1 is right around the corner. The Lord made man, man finer than gold. How much more of a man of the Lord? Come on, man. We the true prize, really. Don't be going in head over here for these women. All right? So, you, you're dealing with these hair wrap sisters, beware. You know, once they start trying to teach you the truth, cut their ass off. Do not go according to that way. Give them the bill of the Lord and cut them off from that flesh. The scripture said, said all right, dwell, all right, uh, uh, so I don't get it. So hell with these wicked women, man. These head rap sisters be fucking wicked, man. So hell with that. They gonna bring out hell of demons, a lot of fucking problems. Sirach 25 and 16 says, I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. You know, over here, you got to worry about all types of shit outside. Now you got to come home and deal with the fucking, the head wrapped serpent, man. Get the hell out of here. So, almost out of fun lesson until next time. Call the Lord by Al Bashem Yoshai. Beware of these head wrapped sisters. Till next time, say Shalom and a blah, blah, blah.